This is video 6.2. In it, we will solve a problem involving a bullet that collides inelastically with a block of wood. The question. A bullet with a mass of 5 grams and initial velocity of 400 meters per second collides with a block of wood attached to the ground and comes to a stop in 0 .0005 seconds. We'd like to know if we assume constant deceleration, how far does the bullet travel before coming to a stop? And if the block weighs 400 grams and is allowed to move instead of being attached to the ground, what is the final velocity of the bullet and the block together? Step one is to find the average deceleration. This is a very straightforward exercise in one dimensional motion. We have the initial velocity, final velocity, the time it takes for the bullet to stop. All we gotta do is divide the change in velocity by the change in time. Plugging in our numbers, and we get a large deceleration of negative 800,000 meters per second squared. Step two is to find the displacement. Once again, this is a straightforward exercise in one dimensional motion. We have the dis equation for displacement in terms of the initial velocity, the time, the acceleration, etc. We plug in everything from above. and we get a displacement of 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters. Now in step three, we're trying to find the final velocity of the bullet and block together, assuming in this case that the block is allowed to move when the bullet collides with it. Our first step is to find the initial momentum. We have the initial velocity and the mass of the bullet the momentum is simply equal to the product of these numbers, which in this case is 2 kilograms times meters per second. Now remember, momentum is conserved. So during step four, we'll find the final velocity of the pair. We do this by first noting that the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum and then noting that the final momentum is equal to the final velocity times the final mass. Now the final mass is equal to little m, the mass of the bullet, plus big M, the mass of the block. Big M is 0.4 kilograms. If we rearrange the above equation, solving for the final velocity, we get this expression. Plug in the initial momentum from above and the values for the mass, we get a final velocity of 4.9 meters per second. And that concludes video 6.2. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.